tago. Go Rangers Summit pala. Okay. Nag-enjoy pa kayo doon? Yeah! Diba? Yeah! Gusto nga isa pa? Yeah! Oh! So, wala so. May lang kinraktis ko eh. More than one year kong kinraktis yun. Sinusunod pala ni Jason Derulo yun. Kinapraktis pala niya. Kinapraktis ko na. Okay. So, I just wanted to get your attention. Maybe you guys are wondering why I started with the dance. Well, before I give my personal reasons, I want to catch my breath first, okay? It's been a while since I last did that. I was really dancing back in. Okay. Ha, ah, ready. All right. I just want to know who the student leaders here are. Raise your hands. The student leaders. Okay, be proud of yourselves. Come on. Raise your hands. Make your presence known. Nasa na dito ang mga random job hunters who came over here to look for their career opportunities in life. Raise your hands. Nice. Sino naman dito ang mga, oh well, unfortunately, Kuya Myron, playing students na kami. So who among you here are playing students na kami? Nice. And then sino naman dito ang mga leader-leaderan? Mga <laughs> leader-leaderan. Okay, I just want to commend our MC for a very flattering and uh, amazing introduction. Ganda na na, yung aking mandirimang Pinoy.com website naging man the rhyming. Alright, but that's okay Kiko, thank you so much. You know what? Uh, there are actually five reasons why I do. First, get your attention. Second, talagang bibo lang ako. Third, Para magpapansin, okay? Because just like what Do uh, introduced, how he introduced me earlier, I'm really known for entertaining or entertaining because I'm a trainer, my audience. Pero the two most important reasons to buy ko ginawa yun, but because today, I'm very happy and I'm celebrating. You guys want to ask me why I'm happy? I really don't know. But the reason why I'm happy is, you know, the moment I learned of this event, the moment I heard about this event, and kakanyang pangalan ay League of Leaders Summit, sabi ko, wow, this country still has hopes. Okay? Because there's a new breed, or there is a new League of Leaders, okay, na lumalabas. Sabi ko, sa lahat ng mga negative news, na kumakalat, pinig natin sa radyo, na napapanood natin sa TV, meron pa palang pag-asa ang bansang Pilipinas. Tama ba yun? Yeah. Kayo ba nakausap ko kayo? Kayo ba ang susunod na pag-asa ng Pilipinas? Yes! Yeah. Habang ito sumana sa likod, sorry, busy kami mag-arap ng trabaho, we're jobless. Okay, we're kaka-graduate lang namin. We need to earn money for ourselves and for our family. Okay, po. When I was in a leader, or a student myself, or the moment na kakapasok ko pa ng Puleo, and I went to a Polytechnic University of the Philippines. Dito ito ang mga Polytechnic University of the Philippines! Let me guess, Polycentro ay na-applyan niya, no? Okay. Ano man yung course na pinili natin, is, lagi yan nakadepende sa kung anong sabi ng magulang natin. Tama? Most of the time, hindi yan dahil kung ano ang gusto natin or kung ano yan nasa gusto natin. So, meron iba sa atin, meron ang kategorya ng mga kuwapaso sa college. Eh. Number one, ang sabi ng magulang ko, anak, mag-aaral ka ng mabuti. Para pagka-graduate mo, magkaroon ka ng maganda? Tama. So, magdating sa college, most of these guys, they're only gonna confine themselves into what? The four corners of the room. Meron bang mga mga ibang mga sudyate or kabataan na ganun din sila. Pero the moment na ang kanilang social, mental, psychological, and emotional maturity, okay, is heightened or awakened. Nakikita nila na bukod pala sa pagiging isang mabuting aral, meron pa pala silang kayang gawin. At yun ang mag-isang student leader. Na hindi lang nila ililimita ang kanilang sarili sa four corners of the room, pero magiging, what? Member nila ng mga student organizations. And marami tayong reasons kung bakit tayo nag-join ng mga organizations. Tama? Pero sa atin, para, what? Kumanta ang resume. 
Kasi, the more extracurricular activities you have, we have this assumption when you graduate and when you apply for a job outside, what's going to happen? Na, oh, ang ganda ng resume. Cum laude. Magna cum laude. Suma cum laude. Wow, President of Student Council. Tama? Okay? Meron naman sa atin na, well, I don't really care about that. The reason why I joined the student organization is I want to develop what? Different skills. I want to acquire new skills. Public speaking, leadership, management, top management, stress management, organizational skills. Skills. Right? So, you know what? Modesty aside, but when I was in college, fortunately, I was able to graduate with something that my parents are going to be proud of. And at the same time, I was able to, what? Multitask among 16 organizations all at the same time. So I'm not here to brag about that. The reason why I'm sharing that is now you know kung bakit ka pabibo. Now you know kung bakit ka Okay? Pero guys, una akala I'm just gonna be addressing my talk to student leaders. But I was told na uh, this is also my opportunity to you know give you usable and practical tips about choosing what the best career for you is gonna be. So ito ang tip ko sa inyo. Tatong bagay lagi mo maging basi. Number one, okay, is uh, meron pa kayo mga notepad dyan or notebook. Make sure that at pa ang ating uh, our organization. Okay, number one, guys, is kung saan, anong trabaho o anong expertise or specialty ang mas makakatulong kayo sa mga magulang nyo. Lahat ng mga ginagawa natin para sa mga magulang natin, tama? What? Hindi lahat sa atin mayayaman. Hindi lahat sa atin eh, pinanganak sa isang well-to-do family. So kaya tayo nag-aaral para mabigyan ng magandang buhay ang ating pamilya. Para maibalik natin ang lahat ng paghihirap na what? In-offer sa atin. Ang pagpapanganak sa atin, ang pagpapalaki sa atin, ang pagpapakain sa atin, at ang uh, what? Pagpapaaral sa atin. Tama? Pakalawa, okay? Piliin nyo ang job opportunity in which mas makaka-contribute kayo for the greater good of all. And what is this all that I'm referring to? This all I'm referring to would be the society you live in, number one, the government, and number two, of course, the people that you coexist with. Is that clear enough? And pangatlo, and para sa akin ang pangatlo ganito, wag na wag mong pipiliin ang isang kurso or pagka-graduate mo isang trabaho dahil nasa pinipilit ka ng magulang mo o dahil sa yun ang intimate uh -huh. because you might be wrong piliin mo kung saan na doon ang kurso mo thank you ah okay when we're choosing what job opportunity we're gonna grab in our life we have to know what what we know and what we uh -huh. learn about next would be what we can do and what we can do well and third, ah, sige, sige, we, are, yeah, we believe we're able to fully realize our fullest potential and we're going to be able to love and be passionate with Him. Tama ba yun? Yes. Passionate ba ako sa ginagawa ko? Yes. Hindi ba ba ka passionate yung ginawa ko kanina? Well, hindi pa. Mamaya, may gagawin pa tayo. Yeah. And, next. Sabi ko kanina, pag pwipili ng mga up now you're going to be grabbing after college piliin niyo kung saan mas makaka-contribute sa society that you are living in kailangan niyo lang guys buksan ang inyong mga mata ang dami mga bagay na kailangan niyo i-prep i-enhance at bigyan ng mas, mas magandang kahulugan sa paligid niyo marami sa atin di ba sasakay tayo ng jeep ano nangyayari pag meron pakiat na what na street child or maduming bata or bata dagsangan sa jeep ano ginagawa ng iba sa atin kung mas nasabing most of do that pero iba sa atin hi kadiri get away from me you're so dirty right you're so dirty nandidiri tayo o kaya yung iba sa atin sabihin natin ib ano ba ako ibang sabihin paano bumili ka ng rugby Baka nang bumili ka ng katol. Baka bumili ka ng mark. Right? Ano yung 
dinarap nila ako, baka na dinarap na bibigyan ng pera. So, marami tayong uh, napapasip na butas sa kapaligiran natin. So, why not, kung ayaw mo kahalubilo o lumapit sa iyo sa isang batang lansangan, why not tumulong ka para mabawasan ng mga children sa lansangan? Tama? O kaya, sino ito mga nag-iinom? Ay, wala. Kasi ako nag-iinom ako dati. <laughs> okay? Yung mga, ta ay, mga tambay sa tindahan, tambay sa kanya, tambay sa tabi-tabi. Ano madalas yung narinig yung pinag-uusapan nyo? Ah, pare! Ah, hindi yung gobyerno na yan. Puro mga magtinakos sa gobyerno yan. Ah! Ay, hanip naman yung gobyerno na yan. Bakit ka nang bayad ng buwis, tinanakaw lang pala. Ah. Right? Okay, sige. Marami ka lang pupunas sa gobyerno mo. Marami kang butas na hinahanap. Pero ang tanungin mo sa sarili mo, bakit kanya ka pa rin? Ano ang inambag mo pag tuwa mga kurapos sa gobyerno? Dawa, ano mga inambag mo para gumanda ang ekonomiya ng Pilipinas? Hindi ba? Mamaya pag-uusapan natin, ah, great power comes great responsibility. We're gonna talk further about that. Okay. What else? So siguro, at this point, you might want to ask me, but Sir Byron, what can we do? We are just a little human being in this society. We cannot do anything. We are poor. Let me just share this with you. Okay? I was born in or raised in a family of a carpenter father and a sidewalk vendor mother. Pero hindi yung naging hadlang para hindi ko pursue ang passion ko, hindi i-sharpen ang skills ko, at hindi ko kalimutan na mag-contribute sa society ko sana ko nakat... At ibalik lahat ang utang na loob ko, what? Sa aking mga magulang. Kasi para sa akin, guys, if you can think something and you believe it is possible, you can definitely believe it. Right? If you can believe something, most absolutely, you can do it. If you can do something, oh hell yeah, you can definitely, what? Make it possible. What guys, in this world, there's nothing impossible. It's not impossible. It just takes a little while to make it a realization. Who among you agrees with me on that? Raise your hands. Konti lang? Okay, konti lang naniniwala sa akin. Guys, may dalawang mata ka, tama? May dalawang kamay ka, tama? Nakakakita ka, tama? Nakakarinig ka, nakakapagsalita ka, may dalawang pa ka, tama? Mas maswerte ka pa nga sa mga tao hindi nakakakita, hindi nakakarinig. Kulang ang kamay, kulang ang paa. Pero despite of their handicaps or physical constraints, they're able to do something positive that will also contribute to society they live in. Tama? So sabi mo ay okay, kompleto ang aking mga senses, kompleto ang aking body mechanisms, pero mahirap lang ako, wala akong kakayahan, wala akong pera. You know what? Nasa isip mo lang yan. Whatever the mind conceives, the body will surely achieve. Okay, sabi niyo wala akong pera, this is an example of what I mean that everything can be possible, it takes a little while. Yun nga lang. Sino sa inyo ay piso? Piso? Okay, so meron kayong piso? Alam niyo ba, na kaya ko, kaya ko gumawa ng isang libo o sapong libo piso ngayong araw lang na ito? Sino tiso yung sinyo may piso? Pakilabas? Pakilabas ang mga piso? Okay, pakilabas ang mga piso? Quick, quick! Alright, so nasa inyo na mga piso nyo. Pwede ba? Kiramin ko ang mga yan. Ilang kayo dito? Are we almost a thousand here? Almost a thousand? Okay. Sino ba isang piso? Pakilabas ang isang piso. If we're almost a thousand here, isang piso nyo, how much money is that gonna create? Ten thousand. So if you don't mind me getting your one peso coins or your ten peso coins, right here, just now, I just proved to you I can what? generate 1,000 pesos or 10,000 pesos from this crowd. Right? Do you guys get what I mean? So my point here is, I'm not gonna steal from you. Alright? I'm not gonna abuse you. But I'm just trying to 
point out here is maraming paraan. Kung ayaw, maraming? Yeah. Hindi lang yun. Kung ayaw, maraming dahilan. At pangalawa, maraming kinatakbo. Fear of the unknown will paralyze you. Fear of rejection. Fear of failure. Hindi pa nga nangyayari. Pinipurtin ko na kagad ang failure. Talaga mag-fail ka. Because hindi makikipag-coordinate sa iyo ang utak mo, ang katawan mo. Kanina nga, before, before I came up with that gimmick, sabi ko, mapit kaya ng Trump yung pagsayaw-sayaw mo? Or am I just gonna get a boo, buwa ba ka na dyan? Or boo, bakit mo sumayaw? Diba sabi ko, oh, I'm just gonna do it. Because I'm gonna predict success. I'm gonna predict that those people are gonna like what I'm gonna do. So I did it. And did you like it? Yeah. Do you want to see some more? Yeah. Thank you. <laughs> All right. So that's a time I want to point out to you guys. Okay. Now I want to share with you three points. Para mas madiskubre at you can identify with more. Sa kung ano talaga gusto niyo gawin sa buhay niyo, ang patunayan sa buhay niyo. Okay. Number one, guys, you have to discover your calling. Sir Myron, ano ba talaga ang calling ko? Let me remind you again. There are three things you have to what take into consideration. Number one, knowledge. What you know and what you can know more about willingly. Number two, skills. What you can do and what you can do genuinely well. And number three, attitude. Where you can absolutely and genuinely put your heart into. Tama? So always remember those three things. For example, okay, uh, I want to be an environmentalist, but I don't know if I'm really good with it. Okay? So, sa kasi tao, na mahilig kumain ng kulay kaysa sa meat, alright? Kasi gusto mong kainin ng gumamela, rose, bugampilia, ang cactus, right? O kaya, magkasama kayo kung kaibigan nyo, ando kayo sa park. And then the moment you put steps on a grass or a flower, how dare you step on that little more poor little being? Oh, what are you hurt, my friend? There. So, can you be a what? An environmentalist. Sabi mo, I don't want to be in the corporate world. I don't want to put up a business. I want to be an activist in the society. I want to fight for other people's rights. Okay lang yun. Kung mas nasisipo ka doon at tatoon ang puso mo, at tatoon ang knowledge and skills mo, then go ahead and pursue it. Right? Wag matako! Tao din kami! There. O kaya, if you wanna go to a business, then go ahead. If you wanna become a teacher, then go ahead. If you wanna become a corporate trick or a speaker like me, then go ahead. If you think that you will really love it. And what you who will love you? Diba? Yung mas natin, sinasabi natin. I love singing. Oh, really? But does singing love you back? Diba? So make sure that what you're gonna do, okay, is something that you love, okay, that's fine, but it's really gonna love you back as well. So discover or call it. Next would be, guys, be the best in Kahit saan man kayong larangan makunta, always be the best in Hindi nagtatapos sa college ang pag-aaral. You know what? Let me just share my story with you. Sa lahat ng pinagsasalita ko, lumalapit ako mga tao, mga audience ko. You know, strange yung lang, random person lang. Hi, kung yung speaker kanina natatanda mo ba? Uh, Opo. Ay, salamat. You know, somehow I did well. And then, tatarawin ko yung tao na yun. Sabi ko, uh, what can you say about how I thought? Did you enjoy? Did you learn something? Uh, yes po. And uh, if you were to give me feedback, what areas of improvement do I have to work on or enhance? I should po kayo na, bro, you know what? I'm a trainer. I should love feedback. Because I expect my trainees or participants to love feedback as much as I do. So go ahead. And that's my effort to be the best in what I do. Oh, by the way, I hate supporting. I don't want to claim here. I'm the best, or I'm one of the best, but this is something that I am very certain about. That I'm doing my best to be the best in what I do, even if I'm not. And that's the kind of thinking that I want you guys to instill in your mind and your heart as well. Okay, bye on? Yes! Okay, next! Guys, 
Tandaan nyo guys, opportunities come with obligations. It's just another way of saying na, you know what, itong suit ko, it doesn't knock me back. Lagi natatanggal, parang ayaw niya magpagamit sa akin. Don't worry, last 10 minutes na lang, hold on pa. Okay, so, great power comes with great responsibility. Yes. Diba? Eh, hinugot ka, may papasok ka pabalik. May hiningi ka, meron ka rin ibibigay. Diba? I'm not against activism. Pero you must know your limits and your boundaries and your obligations. Hindi yung, diba? Pupunta ka sa Mendiola. Hindi i-activista ka. Tapos, bang, oh, 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 oh. Tapos, pag nahampas ang kanto mo ko, police brutality! Matala, ikaw ang nag-amas, ikaw ang nag-initiate. <laughs> O kaya, di ba, ayaw na sa komertismo, say no to mercantilism, ibang sa globalisasyon. Tapos ang suot mo, guess, lee, lee pipes, right? You have to be consistent with your action. You know, your advocacy and your action should see eye to eye. Talagang, true ka sa ginagawa mo, magsuot na naman ng pawid at ang damo. Di ba? No, I'm just kidding. O kaya, may responsibility ka rin sa pamilya mo. Diba? Tapos, mas preferred mo pa ang ah, pagkatapos ng school, nung pagka-graduate mo, mamumundo ka. Tapos, pagbalik mo sa bahay, para bisitay ng pamilya mo, anak, nasa na ang pinapaaraw namin sa'yo. Mahirap pa rin kami, wala pa rin trabaho. Nay! Sa lupa tayo nang galing! Sa lupa din tayo, babalik! <laughs> diba? So, you must... Like... 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 Pwede ba mag-mike na lang ako? Ano, wala-wala. Tuloy-tuloy ba? Nariinig niyo pa rin ba ako? Okay. Do you guys get what I mean? So you must know your responsibilities. Hindi lang yung puro lang puna na puna sa gobyerno. Ang dami mga butas na nasisilip. Pero ang tanong, ano naging contribution mo para kumot may hirap na tao? Ano naging contribution mo para luminis ang kapaligiran? Ano naging contribution mo para dumami ang trabaho? Diba? Mabuti pa ang Jobs TV, binibigyan tayo ng trabaho sa Lama Jobs TV. Right? Mabuti pa ang Smart, may ganun itong klaseng advocacy event. Jump in! Diba? Guys, you know what? Each of us, pero tayo na kanyang description or definition. Okay? Iginagawa ko yun. Pero if you wanna know,